Obviously, figures are not included. <laughs> and there's a few, it's like the weapons rack is not included. We just threw that in there from the, from the, in the stand. And the Wind Raider stand. He's out there. So here, I'll show off a couple of things. So this uh, back door here, opens. this will open up. There's the back door. That'll obviously... Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> if only I had one. <laughs> like within two inches of Tila. <laughs> Alright, so then we got the other secret entrance here. So this will swing open. Oh, did CB it? No, didn't. Alright. So that'll swing open. <laughs> Now, a lot of the things you see inside, like the throne, all of that's going to be shelled out a little bit more. So things can be more flush back, and there's going to be more detail into the wall. Right now, it's still an early prototype, so a lot of this stuff, where you see these hard edges, won't be there. And so the chair, the throne, will be able to be a lot more flush. So there'll be, there'll be a lot more play space once those, those, all these thick lines are removed. So that won't be in the final product. This top piece here will be removable. The, um, the, the handle, if you will, that pops off, as does the pawn uh, piece here. That's removable, just so you could do either the vintage style or the prototype. I'm gonna put the, uh, the secret door panel back on there. So that, I, mean, I mean, it will obviously just swing open. It's still a prototype. The, uh, the elevator will, it's stuck right now, but it obviously will move up and down. I don't think the shadow piece can fit through there. Oh. Um, but it will move up and down. Obviously, it's, it's bigger because there's a little bit of shrinkage, if you will, when it goes from the prototype to the plastic. The same with the trap door here. That will obviously, there's a hinge mechanism, so it will work. Um, right now, it's just sort of resting. This is just going to be a slug piece. It will be hollowed out the back, so it's going to be, uh, like, it won't be solid like this. So it'll be a little bit lighter, less plastic. So that'll just be like a little plastic piece that rests there. The swords will be, uh, it doesn't come with those, but there'll be a little holder to put the swords. It does, there will be a few extra, I'm just gonna move Tila. Um, there's a few extra weapons here you haven't seen before, this mace and the, the gun that were in the vintage, uh, they were in one of the, uh, the, the decals for the vintage one. So you've got the mace and you've got the sword there. The weapon rack obviously sold separately. That was in the weapons pack from a few years ago. I just put it in there. Uh, but you do get, here is the uh, bat jet pack there from the Mark Taylor prototype. This is the Wind Raider stand. Uh, I just pulled this off of the Wind Raider. So that will plug right in to that hole there. So if you want to park your Wind Raider inside your castle. You've got the, uh, kind of the Mark Taylor prototype little spin. It's the training mechanism there. So that'll come with it. You'll have, uh, let's see, let me move some of this stuff. Of course, you got to have Castle Grayskull Man in your castle. So here's the uh, the dungeon there. There's two pieces. I'm just gonna take that out there so you can see. I got trap jaw in the dungeon. This will open the door. It does it right now. So you'll be able to. Put your guys in and out of the dungeon. I hate like moving any of this stuff. It took, it took CB and I like two hours to get this together. Uh, let's see. Oh, the orb holder here. So you've got you've got the orb holder. So it doesn't come with the orb. It just, you just get this. So here was the orb holder that you got with Temple of Darkness Sorceress. Here's the orb holder that comes with the castle. You can obviously see this one does not fit, but this one does, so you can take the orb that you got with Castle Grayskull, or uh, King Grayskull, pop it in there, and pop that in there, and then the door shuts. 
I know I mentioned I wasn't sure if it'd be big enough for a figure to meditate in. Obviously, I think you could squeeze a figure in there, but it's not really meant to be a, a separate room. Thanks. Somebody fell. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's show you what the door looks like. Alright, so let's see, we got our jaw bridge. You'll notice the tongue detail there. The new He Man. We'll shut the jaw bridge. Obviously, it will shut, but it's a separate piece. There it is, shut. Castle Grey Skull Man. Got that. That'll just. And there will be um, a slot right here where the power sword can insert. So, just like in the mini comic, He Man can insert his power sword right in this little slot that'll magically. Well, not through the power of self, self uh, doing it yourself. You can insert the sword and then open the jaw bridge there. And so, obviously, He Man can fully fit in there. Elevator will move up and down. Oh, that's right. You've got another shield there. You've got the uh, banners. The throne. The throne will turn. I'm so hungry. I'm like. Obviously, if a figure has a cape, it'll be a little harder to sit, but... Flag? Oh, it's stuck, isn't it? Okay, the flag's stuck down, but it's, it's made of plastic. So that's a solid one piece of plastic there. And then the gun turret there that Man at Arms has, you can see he can obviously fully hold it, unlike the vintage one where... The character, if he was holding the, or blasting with the gun, he'd be falling off. This obviously is just the, that's part of the prototype, that's just the peg that's holding it together. There will not be a, a metal a stick tube sticking out of the castle there. Let's see. What else can I tell you? Um, I mean, this is amazing. The Horsemen sculpted this in about two weeks. Two weeks? They brought in, there were about, I think CB said 16 Horsemen working on this. And, at different iterations, this was a lot, they brought in a lot of extra help, shall we say. Oh, the ladder. The ladder, here you go, there's the ladder. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? I think that's that's most of the features. The elevator will obviously go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. When it goes to the top, it'll be flush right here with the, with the second level. Obviously a level that the vintage castle did not have. It only had this middle level. So we, we added a second level for a lot more play value. The gun turret will obviously be removable. Same with the flag. Um, yeah, you got the skulls on the top. The vintage one just had one pole. There's now two. And two skulls in homage to the single skull in the prototype. You've got uh, the computer terminal will be removable. That'll also be shelled out. This is a solid piece, but it'll be, a, it'll be shelled out. All right. In order to make it more affordable, and so you can obviously, you know, if you want the computer terminal to be up here, you can do that. These were all stickers in the original castle, so they're now 3D. And then the same with motto here. This piece here, it's another computer terminal. That's kind of what I mean by shelled out. The way this is, this is kind of shelled and that's solid. That's, that's what I mean. And it'll be even a more shelled out than this. So the same with the armor. The armor will be a little bit more like this and less like that. And then there's also the uh, view screen. So that you can attach just right up there. Computer terminal. It's right there. Yes. 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 
I like having Roboto in charge of the computer screen. It just seems to work. Oh, and then these, these are also, oh, well, CB kind of stuck them, but those are removable. You've got the two flags. So it won't come with the sort of power and the sort of protection, but you can clip both there. Um, and that can either be clipped here, or you can swap it out with the shield there. So there'll be two spots to clip those. Uh, the chains will be a little bit more articulated than they are here, so they'll actually be, you know, chains. Not metal chains, but, you know, you can, they'll fit on a, a guy's arm, if you will. Those are prototypes that are still made of tough plastic. Um, we saw this, it's another new mace, a new zapper. I think uh, pictures speak a thousand words after that. That's pretty much most of the stuff. So there'll be a keyhole there to mention. <laughs> You'll notice the elongated jaw, just like the prototype and the ledge, which wasn't, which got cut from the original one in order to fit into the box. So you got a lot more display space, and then you know that'll swing open. By right now, it's broken. It was not easy to get this thing together. <laughs> Plastic assembles a lot better than uh, <laughs> resin. Oh, and then you also got to remove the uh, cloth. Scott, what was the closer to color um, stands uh, when it's... Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this was Sherry. Sherry here? She painted this, like, in like a day. <laughs> you can see there's also two shields hanging there. You can see... Um, there's the royal guard shield with a sword, and there's also He-Man shields. Are those, are those counter? Are those just placed, or is that part of the piece? Card? They're placed. There's, there's going to be clips there for shields to go on. I don't know if the actual shields are going to be included in the play set or not. So they'll but basically you can take previous shields from previous figures and clip them into place. Okay, so there'll be a clip here, a clip here, here. Well, this one it will come with, that, but not the swords. Right. Right. Scott, any ideas on if they're going to do a full-size sword? Like a metal sword? No, no plans right now. Would love to, but definitely, but still, one thing at a time. <laughs> CB, any? You walk away. You walk away. Sixty-three people. Walking away. <laughs> hi, sixty-three people. Scott says hi. Where's the sixty? Thank you. I was waiting for number sixty-six. Sixty-six. We're on a roll. Hold up, sixty-seven. Sixty-nine. Sixty-eight. My God. Okay, I think we've seen seventy-two, seventy-three. No, it's more. Seventy-six. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. 